change of plans from where we left off. We ended up skipping the chocolate factory tour and instead went straight to Arnaga, which is like a cute little house, museum, and garden area. So. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful villa with a lot of history apparently. And they call it like the, the Versailles of Bay Basque. So this place is a house that Edmund Rosten, who is a big author of the last century, decided to build. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Some of them are still in bloom. I feel like very recently they were all in flower though. Yes, probably. The little hedges have shapes. <laughs> Edwin Rustin wrote a book and then when they filmed the movie they all had to use these little prosthetic noses. springs nearby that um, the, the guy who lived here, Edmund. So Edmund. there were springs that Edmund used because he had a pulmonary disease. And so I guess he built a hydrotherapy room in his house. Mansion, really. This is huge. On the ground, there's these grids. There's some water you can escape or come out of. There are chickens everywhere. <laughs> Another one. I like chickens. I like color choices. What's super cool here is that like all of the doors to the different rooms literally blend into the wall. Like, so this is the bathroom and you can see how like it's open now, but the door would match up perfectly. The blue stain. Another door. It even has a lock on it. He's an animal protector? Yeah. That's cool. Makes sense. On every chair throughout this place, there's little flowers. But Hugo and I deduce that. They just tell you not to sit there, but it's pretty. Alright, 
So Edmund Rostin wrote Chantelisier. Um, I'll write it out. But it's basically about a rooster, and he believes that his crowing is what causes the sun to rise. And his interactions with all the other farm animals. Um, it's a four-act play that he wrote, and he asks you to like get down to ground level to like really see the animal interactions with each other. There's definitely a lot of references to this play throughout this whole area. There's all these like little like human animals. There's like a human cat, a human dog um, in the paintings and sculptures. Very interesting to see. Glad I did some research to figure out what it meant. Um, it's an interesting play and apparently there was a movie in the US that was based off of it, um, but it did not turn out well. Very interesting though. <laughs> it's a video.